What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about can you really get stationed where you wanna get stationed in the military? How does it work and what is a dream sheet? If you're new to this channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more future content. And if this video helps any of you out at all, please go ahead and leave it a like. So let's get right into it. So how it pretty much worked for us was during our last week at basic military training, they brought us all down to a computer lab to show us how to use our newly issued government CAC. A CAC is your common access card. It's pretty much your military ID. They showed us how to insert it into the computer, view our MyPay, make sure we're getting paid correctly. And they pretty much wanted to make sure that we knew what tech school we were going to, how long our training was, and how to navigate on the different military websites. Near the end of this training course that they gave us, they showed us exactly where our jobs can get stationed at and what the dream sheet was. So the dream sheet is pretty much, you could choose eight stateside locations or eight overseas locations. And on this list, you do not have to put stateside and overseas because they say if you wanna just get stationed overseas, you should just put all eight overseas locations and do not fill out stateside at all. So you could even put eight stateside locations and no overseas if you wanna stay home and not travel overseas. You could stay home with your family, stay stateside, be able to visit them quicker and sooner. But if you're joining the military to travel and go new places overseas, just put all eight overseas locations and you have a better chance. But personally, my experience with this was I could update it when I got to tech school. I could leave it the same as I had it set at BMT, but did it matter at all? No. I had United Kingdom selected, Germany selected, Italy selected, Hawaii selected. Did I get any of those locations? No, neither did my entire class. My entire class put a bunch of overseas locations like South Korea and all the ones I just named, and we, none of us got stationed anywhere. We all got sent to Florida. So at the end of the day, the military will send you exactly where your job is needed and where they need you to be working. But I have other friends that graduated from Air Force basic training with me one guy I graduated with, he works on airplanes and he wanted to work at McDill Air Force Base. And he got stationed actually at McDill Air Force Base. It was his number one pick on his list. So he's in a highly manned job. There's a lot of workers in this job and he got stationed right at McDill. So he got his first pick, it worked out for him. He didn't put any other overseas locations. He just put stateside and on the top of his stateside location was McDill Air Force Base. I have another friend that wanted to go to South Korea. They put South Korea on the top of their list and they didn't put any stateside locations. And then he only got chosen for overseas. So it worked out in his case too, and he's going over to South Korea. But does it always work? The answer is no. It all pretty much depends on your job and what's available when the time comes. We all got Florida because the military needed us in Florida. You might get your position where you want to get stationed at, but it is not always going to happen. So do not rely on the dream sheet. The dream sheet is not always 100% your choice and your picks. They will send you wherever you are needed. So that's my experience with it. If you have your own experience, comment it down below. Let us know how it worked out for you. So that is pretty much how the dream sheet works. You get eight choices stateside and then you get eight choices overseas. If you want to just go overseas, just don't put anything on your stateside locations and just fill out the entire overseas list. Or if you just want to go stateside, don't put anything on your overseas list and fill out your entire stateside locations list. If you want to choose both overseas and stateside, you might not get exactly what you want to get, but go for it. There's nothing stopping you. At the end of the day, the military will decide if there's room for you at the base you want to go to and work with you, or they're just going to send you wherever they want. So I hope this video helped you out. Please go ahead and leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next week with another video.